Talk to people from last year at Alabama. Maybe you know you guys knew what you were getting into, but once you got there, it was kind of like, oh God, this is bigger than I thought. Did you feel that at all? Not at all. Um, I've I've seen Alabama games and. I knew that the crowd was going to be crazy, it was going to be loud and all kind of stuff. I was young. So I, I knew in advance what I was going to be getting into, and I think I ended it pretty well going there. I didn't let it really rattle me or anything. I just played football. That's really all you got to do is play ball. You said, you know, I was young last year. And I'm still 19 now? Yeah, I'm 19 now. Okay. So what's you know, the big difference between last year and this for you as far as growing up? Um, this year, I've been through a lot more. Last year, uh, I played, obviously, but I was still young. And you take all that stuff, you learn from it, you go through camps. My first time going through spring ball. Um, watching film with different guys as they come through, picking each everybody's brain. Whoever has anything to teach Rob, if any of you have anything to teach me, I'm really I'm willing to listen to it. So all that piled on top of each other has helped my game. How do you think you did today? I think I did pretty well with uh, the circumstances when I was in. I think I moved the ball pretty well, and the whole line did a heck of a job moving the ball, giving Silas and Beecham and everybody else a lot of foes. Um, pass protection was pretty good, uh, so I think I did pretty well. We knew both quarterbacks were going to play, but obviously you got to start. How much does that mean to you personally? I mean, is that a big deal in this quarterback competition? Um, it's, you always want to start. You know? uh, I think uh, it's a big deal for me. Um, being off the board first is a great feeling, and I always want to have it. So it was People are going to talk about those drops. I mean, how much does that affect you personally? Nah, it's it's nothing. You You're going to have them. Um, you just got to take it as it comes. You, people, you're not perfect. Somebody's going to drop a ball. Somebody's going to miss a block. I'm going to make a bad throw. It's all, it's part of the game. So you got to put it behind you and move on. Did you take a pretty good shot on the uh, third down run in the first quarter? You guys ended up using a timeout called the reverse after that. Were you, were you shaking up at all? Uh, it was a pretty good hit. I thought I got down good enough. Like I said, I need to get my slide and technique down. But uh, he kind of got on my head a little bit. But I got up a little slow, but I'm all right now. Rob, do you anticipate the same thing to happen next week, the same amount of playing time? It's alternating you and Matt. Could happen, could not happen. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to Joe. We just finished the game. We'll go back, look at the tapes, and see how it works for me. One quarterback or two quarterback, what gives you the best opportunity to beat Alabama, do you think? i say one. Um, either me or Matt. Hopefully me. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I think this team needs one guy to kind of go in there and establish himself and get a rhythm and get this team going. But, like I said, I'm not the one calling it.